Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is gonna be a first impression and slash get ready with me and all of that uh, in one combined again. And we're gonna do a first impression of the Morphe Such A Gem S39? No, no. 39S, <laughs> this way, a uh, palette which looks like, let me just open this for you, Ugh. which looks like this, and uh, yeah, that's the beauty, the beautiful baby, and I got this from my friend, and uh, she supports me so, so much, and I thank you. <laughs> Anyway, so this is such a beautiful palette and when I saw this when it got released I just could not believe that they actually pulled it together that this is not a palette that it has just like one-third uh, colorful shades and the rest is neutrals. There are a few neutrals like right here and also of course some of those shimmer shades and those uh, topper shades are neutral but honestly it does not bother me at all. Um, at all. There is here one pressed glitter which I could go without and the black has a micro glitter in it which I could also go without. I'd rather have a true matte uh, black but uh, let's see. Let's see what we're gonna do today and I think what I want to do is actually I want to go uh, gray and purple because gray and purple is such an elegant elegant an elegant <laughs> combination and I think what I'm gonna do is probably use this uh, purple here and also use those one of those shimmers let's see let's see where we go with this look but I'm super excited to finally try this out because this palette has been waiting for me to touch it for about two weeks <laughs> so yeah so that's what we're gonna do I hope you'll enjoy and without further ado let's go right into the look Okay my loves, we're gonna jump right in and as I told you in the intro, I think I'm gonna go with uh, this shade and that is Make It Rain, that's the shade name and I'm going to just put that into the outer part of my crease and in the outer corner. I don't think I'm gonna use the black today because I just really don't feel like it. I want to use the gray shimmers definitely and the purple the purple matte and maybe also a different one, different purple matte. So let's just see how it goes. As you know, if you're not new here on my channel, that I really, I have absolutely no problem usually with, uh, with Morphe eyeshadows and I know there is a lot of drama always, but you know what, honestly, there is a lot of drama about Juvia's Place and about other brands and um, if I were to go according to that I would have nothing to work with seriously so I cannot live that kind of a life and I'm not getting myself involved in any of this you know um, if I were to make videos about drama <laughs> I could have so many views I could have my channel monetized in no time but I'm not gonna go there this is a conscious decision that I'm making because really I think it is so annoying that all the beauty channels every time something happens they go and do their drama my truth my version of the truth or something videos and I hate that I hate that because it's all for the views these videos usually have like triple or or five times or even more um, views than their normal videos and it's all about the money let's face it so we're not doing that and and that's that <laughs> okay like always i'm trying to just diffuse that out uh, the outer corner here or the outer edge a little bit with that same brush and i just uh, swiped off all the product from that brush and i'm just um, trying to diffuse that a little bit and then, uh, oh, I should have mentioned, of course, I did prime my eyes uh, with the paint pot, paint pot, <laughs> with the paint pot from MAC and at the upper part here, I used the cut crease canvas from uh, Makeup Revolution. So yeah, so that's what I did. All right. Um, it's funny how <laughs> how those different um, primers really, really make the eyeshadow stick differently because I can exactly see till where I applied the paint pot which is where that line is 
because uh, eyeshadows on the on the paint pot from Mac they blend like hell. It's it's really hard work to blend eyeshadows on that, and on the cut crease canvas they blend amazing. So. I really have to uh, take that into consideration but if I reapply over that line then you see I think that it's it's getting there so anyway we're just putting this down for now and the real blending of course comes when we do the rest of the shades next I'm taking another packing brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade here which is a tiny little bit lighter and it's called grape mines and I'm gonna pl place that Sorry, I'm stumbling over the English again. My my tongue is twisting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna place that at the inner part of my crease, like that, and blend it out a little bit towards the top. So, okay, so this shade is a little bit warmer, of course, than the first shade that we placed down. We'll see how, at the end of the day, how how the difference will be. If there is going to be, if it's if it's going to be even really really visible that this is two different shades. But let's see. I just want to say that this second shade now performed much better than the first one. I think maybe you saw when I put down the first streak of pigment from that first shade, it came uh, came down really really thin. The second one now, the shade Grape Mines. Uh, was much much better so let's just see how we go okay I'm gonna take that same shade Grape Mines on a fluffier brush like this and now I'm just going to blend out the darker shade here which was called what was it called um, make it rain Okay, my lovelies, I just spent a half a million years uh, off camera trying to blend out this first shade. This shade, um, what's it called again? Let it rain, make it rain. The first uh, dark, dark shade that we put on, and it is so patchy. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know how it comes across on camera, but uh, I tried. I really, really tried, and uh, I think, I think I gotta leave it. But I. There are so many places where I'm absolutely not happy with the blend and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> I really don't. Anyway, so that's what it is. The second shade uh, was fine, but that first dark one is a bit of a disappointment. Let's, let's say it that much. Alright, uh, next I want to use uh, this silver shimmer right here, which is called a shiny object. And I'm going to put the product on my brush and I'm going to spray my brush. And then I will use that at the inner corner of my eye. The other thing, not, not the inner corner, but the inner corner of my lid. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, because of that pressed glitter shade, uh, I don't know, you know how th stuff tumbles around in a palette and I by mistake got uh, one or two or a couple of those uh, glitter pieces on my brush and applied it together with those purple shades and I have glitter now on my eye that is not supposed to be there which is really really annoying, I can't get it off. So wait, let me just clean up the mess I just made here. All right. So that that is the thing with those glitters, I don't I don't like it. All right, so let's just see how this one here performs. First impression is a little bit thin, but let's see if we can build it up. Okay, um, not sure yet, not sure yet, but I think, okay, we can build it up to a respectable, respectable. <laughs> to a respectable amount that it shows up nicely. I think in general this shade is a little bit thinner. Okay, I probably put on six coats now. <laughs> now I'm, I'm not going to let this turn into a negative thing because that's not who I am, but I'm still going to tell you the truth. This is one coat. This is barely visible. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this on because I have my mind set on a um, purple and silver look. So that's what we're going to do and we're going to work till we get it. Which I'm personally, you know, I'm not against that. I know that there are people who 
really have to hurry through their makeup application because they have to you know run <laughs> um, and that is maybe then not gonna be for them but for me who I'm doing makeup that that's what I'm doing that's my job so I have of course the the luxury of taking my time even though I do get up at 2 30 in order to do this so but anyway uh, here after applying it a, a couple of times I think the buildup is nice enough for me to be able to say okay that's good I think even the second side applied better than the first side which also could be again because this shade had not been touched yet and sometimes that's just what happens that when you break into a new shade that um, the first performance is not so good and then it picks up so that's the first gray okay next I think we're going to go into this silver right here which is a little bit darker than the one we used here and this is called treasure trove Trove, I think I don't know what that means but <laughs> I have to google that later and again I'm going to put it on my brush and I will spray my brush and then we shall see actually you know what I'm gonna put that a little bit closer to the purple here and maybe include another shade in the middle just to give me that additional option What are we thinking ladies this is gonna be a very dark look <laughs> okay for here in the middle I think I'm gonna go with this shade here which is a very very light purple <clears throat> losing my voice again so that is a that's called lavender lavender it's so fun I, I love that when they have these play with words uh, in the shade names I love this I just wish they would print them directly on the palette I would much much prefer that than the, these sheets that is really annoying um, just dipping my brush into this shade it is again it has the feel of being thin so I don't know <laughs> I don't know let's see let's see what it does yeah they're all very thin I don't know if that's supposed to be that way is it <laughs> Is it supposed to be that way or is it just me? It's very thin. Okay, so let's just dig our heels in and pack this on. I don't know, girls. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I gotta be honest I have Morphe palettes that are performing better and I'm a little bit mm, not so happy about this because I've been looking forward to this palette a lot but I'm also just including that this these are just the first shades that I'm using I have not used any other shades so I'm not gonna judge everything now uh, by that but I do feel that of all of the shades that I used so far only that second purple that we placed here at the inner corner had real good pigmentation like on first impact so uh, yeah that's that's that okay I'm thinking about what to do with this look honestly um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll go back into that first silver that we put right here the shiny object I think it's called yes and I'm going to drag that a little bit further across my lid because I need to do something to save this look because this is going south so fast so I'm gonna drag this over that purple shade that light lavender shade that I just put on and I'm just going to try to blend that into that darker uh, silver and I think that's gonna help okay I did apply a uh, eyeliner a silver eyeliner from Essence in the shade if I can wear where's the shade Cella V it looks like this it's just a silver eyeliner and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little bit of that second purple shade that uh, we had in the inner part of the crease which is called grape mines and I'm gonna apply that down here 
just to trace the eyeliner and then later we'll blend it out once my foundation is on I also did of course put a little bit of eyeshadow primer underneath that so it has something to hold on to so this shade is really the only one that I super super like so far the other ones make you really work hard <laughs> though I have to say now the the silver one here um, performed much much better like the initial impression was a little bit iffy but uh, after that after that it performed better so I know this is super flattering <laughs> so I'm gonna go offline I'm gonna do the rest of my face I'm gonna do a wing I'm gonna do lashes and all of that I'll be right back to tell you what I did and to show you the finished look of course and also tell you my first impression of the palette and boom we're back and what seems for you to just have taken one second actually took me quite a while because I have been really working hard to make this look come together um, am I happy with the look yes was it a lot of work yes <laughs> all right so let me just tell you what I did all right so um, after I had gone off camera I of course did my foundation and everything um, as you know I'm using the Superstay uh, foundation from Maybelline in the shade of sand and that is right now really really oh, it's so good for me I love this foundation it gives me everything I want so right now I have absolutely no reason to change this super super good for me for contouring I used um, the Il Maquillage contour shade in say my name which I really really like can't say anything against it it's just a normal cool toned uh, contour shade which is what you actually need for contour um, and then for blush I actually use this this is a Laura Geller blush in the shade tropic hues and I love this I got this from my friend too I, I say that all the time but she is she is so lovely she's spoiling me <laughs> so which is which is nice I like to be spoiled <laughs> Anyway, so this is my first product from Laura Geller and I love this so bad. I mean, there is nothing that, you know, it's pretty. It's just pretty. So I love this. This is Laura Geller. Uh, lashes, I again used my Sakara lashes, which is a very, very uh, cheap honestly very cheap local brand and uh, the lashes are good you know the lashes are good also I'm trying out their lipsticks right now and I have mentioned them I think in my recent makeup related video where I also said that the the lipstick that I used there the long-lasting lipstick what wow the long-lasting lipstick was bomb you know and it's like two dollars or two and a half dollars and this one is about the same price range it is a metallic coral it's the shade 146 and it's just it's called Sakara moisturizing lipstick that's all they give you um, it comes on a little bit sheer you have to build it up but it has a very nice feeling like feel on the on the lips and the colors are nice the pair of like I said you have to build it up a little bit if you don't just want to put on like a sheer layer which is also okay if that's what you're going for so uh, but I'm super super impressed by the lipsticks I just I I'm totally blown away because it is really really affordable all right after I had finished all my all of this I then went back in and uh, finished the eyes the the uh, lower lash line and I oops I just used this shade again that was the shade grape grape mines I keep forgetting the names okay this one and I just blended it out with a fluffy brush and I also used I used for my inner corner what did I use I already forgot what did I use? Ah, uh, this one. Yeah, because I wanted to actually, this one. Um, I wanted to try those topper shades. And this is the shade, let me hear for it. This is that shade, and this is actually super pretty. I had heard that all those topper shades there in the middle are super, super beautiful. So I wanted to use two of them, one in the inner corner and one as my highlight. And uh, yeah, so this is the one I used for my highlight, and this of on my cheekbone and this is what I used in my inner corner and they actually really performed well so now oh a mascara I used the L'Oreal volume million excess um, mascara and that's it all right so what do I think about the palette Whew. 
Okay, um, I had to work really, really hard to make this look come together and it pains me to say that because I do love all of my Morphe palettes. I love all of my palettes, you know, and uh, they are like babies for me. And uh, because I'm a small channel and I have a small collection compared to other YouTubers and even though probably for an average person, my collection is pretty big, probably. But I don't compare myself to an average makeup person, obviously, because this is my job this is my passion this is my life so I need big that's that's just the, how it works right so anyway so this is probably something like my 15th Morphe palette and um, out of all of them but considering that I just tried like five or six shades um, this was the hardest to work with so far which is sort of sad because I wanted this to be the star of all of them so badly but of course I will do more looks with this and try it out more and maybe come back later and give you a review kind of thing but for that of course I will have to work with this quite a bit so um, as you know what we did was we used this one in the outer part of the crease and the outer V then we went into this and finished off the crease and we also blended out the whole look with this at least we tried <laughs> and then on the lid we initially used um, this one in the inner corner then we went into this one and then we went into this silver shadow and actually I ended up using this one for most of my lid and just dragged it over this one because this one was super sheer and basically did not show up and um, I was not too happy about that but if you're going for a more subdued look then that might be good for you I'm not I'm not saying that these shadows are not performing well I'm just saying that they are too sheer for me because I'm a very I'm a, I'm a person that needs impact as you know probably right so um, I need big time I need a lot all the time so it's very hard to please me and um, that is just like my impression my personal impression that it did not please me so much I had to work very hard am I gonna use that palette of course I'm gonna use that palette am I, am I gonna keep loving it yes I'm going to keep loving it till it gives me what I want this this is how I am I'm not giving up on something that does not perform immediately I mean no marriage would work if we were be uh, if, we, if we were that way right so wait let me just zoom out because I'm just way too big in the in the viewfinder <laughs> that's scary anyway so no marriage would work if we were to just give up on first try and and you know it's not performing well so <laughs> let's give up right so we're not going to do that i'm going to work with this and i'm sure that i'm going to have fun with this it's just that i need to plan a little bit more time with this um the topper shades i must say so far the two that i used were so so beautiful super pretty i actually cannot wait to use also this one right here this is they look pretty super pretty so i'm gonna do that <laughs> and i'm gonna let you know at some point how it goes um my overall feeling is that i was a little bit disappointed and but i'm also again i'm saying that i'm complaining on a very high level because i'm very spoiled already but with all that being said, I always want to get my money's worth, even though that was a gift, but still this is worth something and I want to work with it and I want to make it work and that's what I'm going to do. So not giving up on anything. This is uh, just my first impression and we'll see what happens later on. Anyway, am I happy with the look? Yes. Am I going to be very, very glad to go outside and be seen? Yes. <laughs> Does anyone else need to know how long I sat here to work for this? No. <laughs> nobody cares really so um main thing is i feel pretty i feel good for me the the effort was worth it and uh, yeah so everybody has to make their own decision if they want to spend that time blending but i also have to of course uh throw that piece of information in that if you're new here you don't know that i'm super super crazy perfectionist and um i i, I'm, I just take that way so if you are more easygoing then you might have a much easier time <laughs> so that's that's of course also there all right so uh if you like this video then please give it a like and 
if you're new here then please subscribe to my channel i would really really love to have you here and besides that i hope you had fun watching me struggling <laughs> but i think the overall outcome is good and i love the look and i'm gonna do more looks with the palette and like i said i'll update you on how it is going uh yeah and then i'm gonna see you next time here for my next video on my channel and up until then go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye